So um, our group has been working with the Thai Ministry of Public Health and, um, and the Thai Red Cross and of course the U.S. Army in um, trying to identify babies who are infected very, very early at birth practically and try to institute early treatment, which is actually the standard of care in treating children, but currently in the public health system, they're often not identified early enough, they're not treated early enough. But with the report of the Mississippi baby, there's a lot of excitement, particularly in the pediatric field in Thailand, and the Thai Ministry of Public Health is very eager to, to try to really treat children as fast as possible. So we have been fortunate to be um, awarded an R01 from the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases to try to work within this public health system to uh, identify babies as soon as they're infective. So they may be you know, a, a month old or two months old and they get started on treatment immediately. And what we're doing is measuring the amount of virus that is hidden in the white blood cells, looking to see whether these virus are actually can replicate or can, can increase in numbers and looking before and after treatment and, and also looking at the reaction of the body to these virus. So what is the immunity against the virus? And, and what this will do is that we could really understand what happens in babies in terms of uh, early treatment and how it, it really curbs the amount of virus in the body. And the next step, of course, will be you know, the cure strategies and, and perhaps treatment interruption, but that's not the subject of our, our research. Yeah, I, I think that AMFA was really a leader in, in setting up a pediatric cure think, think tank because, I mean, at that time, it was even before the Mississippi baby was reported. And so, so the pediatric cure think tank was very early on, you know, before we had the case of the Mississippi baby. And also when, you know, the field was not really focused on pediatric cure. And, and through that meeting, actually, the National Institute of Child Health and Human Development uh, came out with a call for application a grant application looking at uh, reservoir size and looking at the latent reservoir in, in early treated children. And so, you know, the, the, I think it kind of the Mississippi baby and also the call for application really, I think, helped to move the field forward. And my personal, uh, I think, me personally attending that meeting was very helpful because it was a chance to meet people who were interested in the same thing, uh, a chance to share our adult cohort in Thailand and, and trying to think about how we would move the pediatric cure forward. And actually, from that uh, grant proposal, this is where we applied for our grant and now we're funded to do the work looking at early treatment in children and what happens to the latent reservoir.